section. That's why the one I was saying. I figure you guys need to move that one. Well, these guys are gonna go. You can stay. Huh? These guys are gonna move right now. I'll just go around.
grab that chunk of debris real quick. for? I'm stuck in the door. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. Got my phone just in case they sent a second call. So for us, beats five and six will always go to Laguna Hills. Beats one and two, which are on North County, are Stanton. Just to make life simpler. He told me to wait for him. Sure, sure. I'm just going with what I'm told here. No worries. Want me to spin around? Just go back behind that car over there. All right, I'll do that.
is a Chevy Volt Bolt, one of the electric ones. I remember there being a bunch of uh, warnings on these about uh, storing them after a collision because the batteries potentially can explode. Um, there's a big safety bulletin on it. So that said, this is gonna go in the outside parking. I don't know if the batteries really affect it. It's a side impact, but still. Um, I'd rather not take a risk. Okay, yeah, it's a Volt. Um, I'd rather not take a risk on it and have it uh, I'll turn into a uh, car-sized Roman candle inside, so yeah, we will put it uh, put it in the outside. It might even still drive, in all honesty. I mean, the motor section's fine. It's just that door. Door smashed. Charging port smashed. But it might actually still run and drive. Unless uh, some kind of uh, system has uh, kicked in that prevents that from happening. Well, all these cars have safety systems that cut them off in the event of a collision. Ford's been doing it for years with the fuel pump inertia switch, which has been phased out and it's now the uh, computer system shut down. Well, there is a way to bypass that or override it. Uh, it's generally the same for most of them, but it does differ with some vehicles. Oh, my shoes, my old shoes out of the way. So we'll see. Yeah, I got, got a little interesting on that scene there. The one cop told me pull up ahead, she was going to move my cruiser, blah, 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 you know, load it up. And the... Uh, the Nod cop, the uh, the guy in the brown uniform, which is a civilian employee, got all pissy at me for starting to load it. And I said, well, your buddy over there told me to, so that was what it was. And after I got done loading, I asked him, you know, you need me a wait or anything? He's like, yeah, I still need to look and blah, blah, blah. So I sat there and then the other cop started barking at me because I was blocking the lane. That they were blocking with two other cruisers. I'm like, well, pfft. I was in there thinking to myself, I'm like, why don't you all talk to each other? Get on the same page here. That's kind of, it's kind of annoying. It's like, dude, one cop, or not, not, one cop tells me one thing. One uh, civilian officer tells me another thing. Then another cop tells me another thing. So it's like I'm getting told different things, different directions, like they're just being jerks. I mean, I don't think they're being jerks. I think they're just, ow. Oh, I want to get the roadway clear, which I get. I get. That's why I was up in the uploading it up in the first place. Why I was called there. <laughs> but you know, I'm investigating. I'm like, I'm doing a report. Are you taking measurements? No. Just sitting there, just looking at things. You know. So I don't think. Oh, and the other thing is, I'm sitting there hooking up to it. If that guy really didn't want me moving it yet, he could have said something. Said, hey, wait, you know, I need to did you wait for a minute. Communication. You know, yeah, I didn't communicate very well with them, but well, I did communicate as much as I wanted. I did what I was told to do. Just... And again, back to the old saying of too many chiefs and no Indians. Everyone wants to call the shots, but they don't talk to each other. Which, you know, that, that creates the problem. Thus in lies the issue. I don't know why he parked his damn car here. I'm trying to make this turn here and I can't because somebody parked a freaking car here. Oh the hell with it, dude. I'm running that shit over. I'm sorry. I don't care. Well, that piece of drain pipe is no more and left it on the ground. Try to get closer to the side, but I don't know how well that's going to work. Alright, that's it. Let's dump this 
thing down. Marking the system, destination. Samsung account legal terms. You can see, keep sending me that shit all day long. I'm still not gonna. I'm not gonna agree to them. Yeah, they'll get to the point where they force me. Might as well grab the key. No. Well, since I got the winch rolled all the way up at this point, I'm just gonna leave it up because I'll, I'll roll it off. Car's in park, I know that because I drug it up in park. So I can go ahead and take all the straps off. It's a little frustrating. I'm there to do my job. And it seems like they just want to make it harder. You know, that's why I'm frustrated. Sometimes I work really good with the cops, and sometimes the cops are uh, not easy to work with. You know, but that's the sheriff's department. They're out there having to work. For sure, they don't want to. before it gets dark. It's getting dark. Well, at least I can pick up all the damn trash while I could. Start closed because usually when this happens, yeah, they jam up. Yeah, it's it's jam closed. So I'll come in this side, just hop over the seat. Uh, there's glass. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's glass. Oh, Jesus Christ! It smells like weed badly in this thing. Yeah, we got smokes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to get contorted here to get the seat. Okay, I'm in the seat. I need to close that window. Or close that door. Alright. The rear still Yeah, it kind of does. Wait. Wait to shift. Initializing. This is like a touch panel. Oh. What the hell? What the hell is the uh... Well, I don't freaking know. Who knows? It's here somewhere. I'm just watching out. Oh, it's...
Okay. Getting these stupid uh, we get you, Jackie and Fresno, putting your employee safety first. Chattanooga, whose local ranger team knows it by name. We're here for you and all the ones who get it done with 24 7 customer support and access to product specialists to help you find what you need. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, uh, disconnected the battery in the collision. Yep. During the podcast, what happened to get Sandy B? That Jones window is no more. Jeltsin investigates the death of a young woman who dreamed of a career. All right. Revealing a troubling pattern. Yep, the damn car. Close to the case. I didn't take any of their crap because I could tell that they were hiding something. Listen to what happened to Sandy Beal on the island. All right, it's all shut down as much as it's going to be. I uh, think I can shut these off. Close that one, shut that one off. I'll show as many lights off as I can. Uh, the radio's not going to go off until the driver's side door opens or the timer lapses. And unfortunately, the driver's side door is not going to open. So you just have to wait until it times out on the uh, vehicle's battery control module. Yep, that's it. Done there. I will. Uh, Shift that back up out of the way since this time it's doable. Put that back here. Uh, I'm not going to move the deck yet. Get around to the other side. I want to put. That there, that there, and since they can't seem to not lose my shit, what was there? Thanks for watching on this fun time. <laughs> Definitely was a uh, an interesting one. I, mean, I don't know, maybe a shit show, but eh, either way. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.